Hello and uh, welcome to this uh, video series on level measurement. Today we are going to derive the equation for calculating the calibration range of a differential pressure transmitter used for interface level measurement such as in an oil water separator tank which is here uh, which is the typically found in oil refineries such as uh, the one shown in the piping and instrumentation diagram uh, on the screen here okay by the end of this uh, video you will have a better understanding of the equation for calculating the calibration range and how uh, DP transmitters are used in uh, interface level measurement okay uh, allow me to provide some context as to why accurate uh, interface level measurement is vital before we continue our discussion on level measurement okay for those who are not uh, acquainted with how the instruments uh, featured on this uh, PNID work together I can uh, give you a brief summary to aid in your understanding accurately measuring and controlling the interface uh, level in oil refinery tanks is crucial because it ensures uh, efficient separation of oil and water preventing equipment damage and minimizing product loss with the right uh, combination of instruments like uh, those uh, on this uh, PNID we can optimize the separation uh, process and uh, protect uh, valuable resources so uh, this is uh, the separator tank and it contains a mixture of oil and water that needs to be separated and uh, this is the di differential pressure transmitter and uh, this is installed to uh, measure the level of water which is this one the denser fluid in the tank and uh, the transmitter generates a signal proportional to the difference in pressure between its high pressure and low pressure sides so this is the high pressure side and this is the low pressure side of the transmitter and uh, this DP transmitter converts the differential pressure it senses into a 4 to 20 milliampere signal and then uh, sends it uh, to this uh, level controller uh, in the distributed control system uh, DCS so after receiving the milliampere signal uh, the level uh, controller converts it into a level measurement value representing the liquid's height or percentage in the tank and then the LC uh, shares uh, this uh, value with uh, the level uh, indicator in the HMI uh, via a system link uh, enabling the operator to monitor the interface uh, level in the tank easily so this is the system link this is the symbol of uh, the system link and uh, also the level controller sends a 4 to 20 milliampere signal to the uh, IP positioner uh, that is part of the control uh, valve which is here installed in the employment line of the tank uh, the positioner uh, converts the signal into a pneumatic signal and adjusts the valve's uh, opening to regulate the flow rate of the influent liquid thereby maintaining the desired level in the tank okay by using this instrumentation uh, setup the interface uh, level of the liquid in the oil separator tank can be accurately measured and controlled ensuring that the separation process runs uh, smoothly and efficiently so before we dive into the derivation let me first clarify that uh, we are assuming that the oil and water inside the tanks have a clear separation which means uh, there is no emulsion such as uh, the one uh, shown here as we can see the the water 
with cetals at the bottom side of the tank which is the denser fluid and uh, the the oil that sits uh, directly on top of the water they, they have a clear uh, separation there, there is no emulsion between them so this is the scenario uh, this is the case that uh, we will consider in uh, our uh, derivation of the equation and uh, uh, furthermore we will also assume that uh, the tank is equipped with some mechanism such as an overflow uh, pipe to ensure the fluid level remains constant with these uh, assumptions uh, we can uh, simplify the derivation okay before deriving the differential pressure equation which is uh, used for determining the calibration range which is the lower range uh, value and the upper range uh, value of a DP transmitter uh, let's first ensure uh, we have a clear understanding of hydrostatic pressure and its calculation so to better understand the concept let's uh, consider a vessel containing a liquid with a weight uh, density D Okay, so the pressure exerted at a specific point is equal to the force applied in the direction uh, perpendicular to the surface area of the point divided by the surface area of the point. So this is the definition of pressure. Pressure is uh, force per unit area. Now, for example, let's uh, calculate the pressure at this point. So the force applied on this point is equal to the the weight of uh, the liquid column above uh, the point uh, pressing down on the point so equation one can be written as uh, pressure equals uh, weight over area but uh, equation two can be uh, written uh, in its uh, more general form which is P is equal to the derivative of weight with respect to area okay the, the weight uh, density of a fluid is defined as the derivative of weight uh, of the fluid with respect to volume so differential weight is equal to density multiplied by differential volume now uh, the differential volume of the fluid is equal to the height its height uh, multiplied by the differential surface area of the point if we substitute uh, dv uh, this term here for dv in equation 5 uh, we get uh, dw equals its d da now if we substitute this term for dw in equation 3 we get pressure equals its d da over da and then we can cancel out da and da uh, leaving us with this uh, equation pressure equals its d so this is the uh, formula for the hydrostatic uh, pressure okay uh, equation 8 uh, can be applied uh, if uh, the uh, given parameter is the density of the fluid now let's uh, derive another formula to calculate uh, the, the pressure if uh, the given parameter is uh, the specific uh, gravity of uh, the fluid so the specific uh, gravity of uh, the fluid let's see fluid x is equal to the density of the fluid x divided by the density of a reference fluid now the reference uh, fluid can be uh, water uh, mercury air oil and so on in this uh, video we employ uh, water as the uh, reference uh, fluid okay now the density of uh, water is uh, equal to 0 0.0361 uh, pounds per cubic inch 
Now this uh, uh, density of uh, pure water is measured at uh, 4 degrees uh, centigrade and 1 atmosphere pressure. Okay, so equation 8, this is equation 9. So okay, uh, equation 8 uh, in terms of the fluid X can be written as Px equals Hx dx. Okay, so uh, solving for uh, dx in equation 9, uh, we get uh, dx equals is x dr. Now, if we uh, substitute this uh, value for dx in equation 10, we get uh, px equals hx sx dr. Okay, it is uh, uh, crucial to highlight that uh, using the height of a fluid column as a unit of pressure is a widely used and accepted practice in hydrostatic uh, measurement. Uh, this is uh, because the height of the fluid is a simple and convenient way to express uh, pressure and is uh, easily measurable. Okay, to further explain this concept, let's uh, analyze uh, equation 12. Okay, equation 12 uh, utilizes uh, subscript uh, notation uh, to enhance uh, clarity. Okay, by employing uh, two subscripts, uh, the equation can uh, differentiate uh, between two distinct uh, fluids and uh, make it uh, easy to identify which uh, parameters are associated with its uh, fluid. So the, the subscript uh, X uh, in this uh, equation uh, signifies or refers to the uh, fluid uh, being measured and the, and the subscript R uh, indicates uh, that the density parameter in this equation uh, pertains or refers to the uh, reference uh, fluid uh, used for calculating the specific gravity of fluid X. Okay, uh, speaking of reference uh, fluid, the common uh, reference uh, fluids uh, used for measuring specific uh, gravity are water, mercury, air, oil, and so on. Okay, having uh, acquired a clear understanding of the equation, uh, we are now equipped uh, to utilize the notion of representing pressure as the height of the reference uh, fluid column. Okay, so the key question now is uh, what is the, the depth of the reference uh, fluid required to uh, produce uh, pressure equivalent to Px at height Hx? Okay, so if we replace x uh, in this equation with r, we can rewrite equation 12 as P sub R equals to H sub R S sub R dr. Okay, equation uh, 13 implies that uh, we are measuring the reference uh, fluid itself. So, which further implies that uh, its uh, specific uh, gravity is 1 uh, since we are measuring it uh, relative to itself. So, mathematically, is R equals the density of the reference fluid divided by the density of the reference fluid which is uh, we use this uh, formula equation 9 but in this case uh, we are measuring the reference fluid itself so dx becomes dr so now dr over dr equals 1 which means that uh, pr uh, in equation 13 becomes it's R dr. So equation 13 reduces to equation 14. Okay, since uh, we need to express uh, pressure Px in terms of it's R, uh, we can set equation uh, 14 equal to equation 12. So we set Pr equals Px. 
Uh, so, let's say this is equation 15. So, by substituting uh, PR, by substituting uh, this term for PR in equation 15, and this term for PX uh, in equation uh, 14 as well, we get uh, the following. It's R uh, dr equals it's uh, x is x dr. So we have equation 16. And then uh, we can cancel uh, dr on bo both sides, uh, leaving us with it's r equals it's x is x. So this is equation 17. Uh, therefore, the pressure exerted by fluid X at the uh, height or depth its X is uh, its X is X reference fluid column. Okay, let's uh, illustrate uh, the concept uh, much more clearly using an example. Uh, let's say uh, this tank contains an oil with a specific uh, gravity of 0.702 uh, the, the level of the oil is uh, 100 inches and uh, the question is uh, what is the pressure exerted by the oil at the bottom of the tank ok in this uh, problem uh, it's x is uh, 100 inches and uh, is x is uh, 0 0.702 uh, therefore uh, it's r equals 100 inches multiplied by 0 0.702 which means it's r equals 70.2 therefore the pressure is equal to uh, 70.2 inches H2O or 70.2 inches uh, of water this can also be written as uh, 70.2 inches of water column okay and uh, also to gain a better comprehension of the process of converting pressure uh, units uh, based on fluid column height Let's first uh, take an example before moving on to the next step of preparing to derive the main equation uh, for this presentation. So let's uh, consider answering the following uh, question. What is uh, the pressure in uh, PSI uh, for 1 inch H2O or 1 inch uh, water column ok uh, we can use equation 14 uh, to solve uh, this problem ok uh, equation uh, 14 PR equals uh, it's R DR ok this is equation 14 Okay, now uh, based on the problem, PR is uh, 1 inch H2O. And this is equal to the height is 1 inch. And the density of water is 0 0.0361 pounds per cubic inch. Now this inch and inch in this uh, term here will cancel out. And this cube becomes squared. So, in other words, 1 inch H2O equals 0 0.0361 pounds per square inch or 0 0.0361 PSI. So, this is the answer to this uh, question. Now, if we uh, rotate the equation here, we can see that uh, 0 0.0361 PSI equals 1 inch it's to O and then if we divide uh, both sides of the equation by 0 0.0361 
we get uh, 1 psi is equal to 27.27 inches of water. Okay, uh, now uh, let's move to the next uh, step. As you can see on the screen here I have already defined the variables that uh, we will be using to derive the equations and uh, this is the actual uh, photograph of a differential pressure transmitter uh, depicting its two distinct ports so this port here uh, labeled S is the high pressure port of the transmitter uh, while this one marked L is the low pressure port and uh, the sports are linked uh, to the high pressure and the low pressure topping points on the tank uh, via impulse lines. So, uh, shown uh, on this diagram, this line here uh, represents an impulse line uh, connecting the low pressure topping point on the tank and the low pressure port of the transmitter. Whereas uh, this line here is uh, the impulse line connecting the high pressure tapping point on the tank and the high pressure port of the transmitter. Okay, assuming a typical installation of a DP transmitter, assume uh, in this uh, setup, the high pressure tapping point is at the same elevation as the 0% level, while the low pressure tapping point is at the same elevation as the 100% level. The tank contains a mixture of oil and uh, water with uh, the denser water uh, settling at the bottom while the lighter oil floating on top due to their respective densities. Uh, the levels of uh, the water and the oil in the tank uh, change as the influent liquid enters and the separated uh, fluids uh, flow out of the tank. However, the combined uh, level of the water and the oil is uh, maintained at a fixed height of Y from the 0% level to the 100% level. This uh, implies that if the water level is X, then the OL level is Y minus X. The specific uh, gravities of the denser and the lighter uh, fluids are SD and SL respectively and the ceiling fluid is SS. As you know, on this uh, figure, the transmitter is uh, installed at uh, its uh, vertical distance below the high pressure tapping point which means that it is also uh, y plus h below the low pressure tapping point okay now that uh, we have described uh, the setup in detail let's start uh, deriving the differential uh, pressure equation and then uh, deduce from it the equations for calculating the Lorentz uh, value LRV and the upper end uh, value URV that establish the calibration range of a DP transmitter. Okay, let's start deriving the equation. Okay, the pressure exerted at the high pressure port of the transmitter, which is uh, represented by P high, which is here, is equal to the pressure exerted by the denser fluid plus the pressure exerted by the lighter fluid plus the internal tank pressure and uh, the pressure at the low pressure port of the transmitter which is here is equal to the pressure exerted by the ceiling fluid plus the internal tank pressure as well now the differential pressure is the difference between p high and p low so 
we can write uh, delta P as uh, PD plus uh, PL plus PT minus PS minus PT. So we can cancel out PT and PT leaving us with delta P equals PD plus PL minus PS. Now to evaluate uh, this uh, PD, PL and PS we can apply equation 12 we derived earlier. Equation 12 states that uh, the pressure of the fluid X at height or depth uh, its x is equal to height its x multiplied by its specific uh, gravity times the density of the reference fluid. So if we apply uh, this equation in here, uh, therefore we can write uh, delta P equal to uh, now the height of the denser fluid is x plus h. Its uh, specific uh, gravity is SD and then uh, multiplied by the reference fluid. And then uh, PL, the height of PL is uh, y minus x. And its specific gravity is SL and then multiplied by dr and then minus now the uh, height of the ceiling fluid is y plus h its uh, specific gravity is ss and then multiplied by dr now we can uh, factor out uh, dr and then we can write uh, delta p as x plus h is d plus y minus x is l minus y plus h is s dr and then uh, we can expand its term in this expression so delta P equals X is D plus H is D plus Y is L minus X is L minus Y is S minus H is S multiplied by DR. And then uh, we can uh, collect uh, similar uh, terms. So x is d minus uh, is l plus y is l minus s s plus h. then multiplied by dr so this is the differential pressure equation so let's say this is equation 18 okay we can calculate uh, the differential pressure lrv by setting x equal to zero in this equation now if uh, x equals zero then it means that the tank from the 0% to the 100% level is completely filled with the lighter fluid uh, as shown on this uh, diagram. So delta P LRV is equal to, if we set x equal to 0, uh, this term here will go away and uh, leaving us with y is l minus ss plus h is d minus ss 
dr so this is the differential pressure lrv equation so this is equation 19 okay and now uh, let's uh, derive the equation for the differential pressure urv now the differential pressure uh, urv can be calculated by setting x equal to y in this equation so by setting x equal to y it means that the tank from the 0% to the 100% level is uh, entirely filled with the denser fluid uh, as shown on this diagram okay so uh, by setting x equal to y in this equation the differential pressure urv is y is the minus sl plus y is l minus ss plus h is d minus ss and then multiplied by dr okay we can rewrite uh, delta p urv by expanding this term and this one here so uh, delta p uh, urv equals uh, y is d minus y is l plus y is l minus y is s plus h is d minus ss then all of them multiplied by dr okay so we can cancel out this uh, term and this one so we can write uh, delta p urv as y is d minus y s s plus h is d minus s s dr and then uh, we can factor out y in this expression so we can further factor this uh, expression here so delta p uh, urv is equal to y plus h is d minus ss dr so this is equation uh, 20 this is the differential pressure uh, URV equation now the differential pressure span is the difference between uh, delta P URV minus delta P LRV so the differential pressure span is equal to y plus h is d minus is s dr minus the uh, differential pressure lrv which is uh, this one here equation 19 so minus y uh, is uh, L minus SS minus H is D minus SS DR now we can uh, factor out DR in this equation so we can write uh, delta P span as y plus h is d minus ss minus then we uh, remove the parentheses here y 
SL minus SS minus H is D minus SS then DR and then we can expand its term so delta P span equals Y is D minus Y is S plus H is D minus H is S minus Y is L plus Y is S minus H is D plus H is S so we can cancel out Y is S H is D and H is S so we are left with this one And this one so this is the equation for the differential pressure span this is equation 20 21 okay finally we have uh, successfully derived the equations for calculating the calibration range of a DP transmitter okay to make uh, easier uh, to see all the equations together let's put them in one place so okay these are the equations uh, that we have just uh, derived okay before concluding this video let's uh, solve one practical problem to reinforce our understanding of applying the equations Okay, in this uh, setup, the combined level of the water and the oil uh, from the 0% to the 100% level is 220 inches, which is uh, represented by this uh, variable y. Let's say the uh, water level is 50 inches. Uh, it means that the uh, oil level is 170 inches because uh, 220 minus 50 is 170. Uh, the transmitter is located 30 inches below the high pressure tapping point which is also 250 inches below the low pressure tapping point on the tank uh, this is 250 inches because this is y plus h so our y is 220 and h is 30 okay the specific uh, gravities of uh, the denser fluid the lighter fluid and the ceiling fluid are 1.002 0.702 and 1.263 now uh, let's uh, calculate the differential pressure the differential pressure LRV the differential pressure URV and the differential pressure span okay by substituting the given values of the variables into the equation for the differential pressure which is uh, this equation here we find that the differential pressure is negative 116.250 inches H2O or uh, negative 4.198 PSI and then uh, in the same way if we uh, substitute the given uh, values of the variables into the differential pressure URV which is this equation uh, we will find that uh, the differential pressure URV is negative 65.250 inches H2O. In the same uh, manner, if we substitute uh, the uh, given uh, values of the variables into this equation, we find that the differential pressure LRV is negative 131.250 inches H2O and uh, finally by plugging in the uh, given values of the variables into this equation uh, we get uh, delta P span 
is 66.000 inches it's to all okay i have uh, created this uh, simple simulator so that uh, we can immediately obtain the calculated uh, values and easily monitor which uh, variables are changing and changing as the levels of the water and the oil in the tank uh, change okay uh, with uh, the help of this uh, simulator we can conveniently analyze the impact of the water level changes on the other variables okay let's explore the simulator and observe how the pressures at the high pressure port and the low pressure port of the transmitter behave as the uh, water level in the tank increment and decrement automatically so this will help us uh, identify uh, visually which uh, variables are affected by these changes okay uh, let's start the simulation The simulation has just been completed and uh, we have seen that as the water level represented by this variable x changes the pressure at the high pressure port uh, changes proportionally while the pressure at the low pressure port remains constant we also observe that the lrv urv and span values remain unchanged throughout the simulation this is simply because these uh, variables uh, do not uh, depend on the uh, water level x and uh, therefore they are not fixed since uh, their equations do not contain x as a variable okay see you in the next uh, video of this uh, series